Welcome to This Is What I Did. I'm not a professional. This is just what I did to solve the problem. So on another video, YouTube video, a guy said that when these uh, inverters fry due to lightning strike, indirect lightning strike, uh, it's the MOSFETs inside that are usually affected. And by replacing them, you can fix it. I did that with one inverter and it worked. So this is a second inverter. Again, lightning strike. There was a lightning strike and it stopped working. So I took my inverter apart and I tested these MOSFETs, mainly the ones that go around the outside, the ones that tend to be cooled by, I don't know, a cooling board, I guess it's called. And I went around and I tested them and I found two that were, were not working. So I'll show you how I tested them. Okay, first thing you need is a multimeter and you put it on diode mode. Diode mode is where you see the diode. And you know if you touch the two probes together, it'll beep, right? That's diode mode. So you put your tester on there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to touch the red one to the middle part of the middle part and the black side of your tester to the far right side, okay? Uh, when I tested it, I was actually looking at the back of the diode, so it's inverted, right? So I touched the, the red to the middle and, I, and the black then to the, to the outside, to the, to the left side. And you shouldn't get any, any beeping. Okay. okay, so you can see that I'm, I'm touching it to this one that I've taken out already. And it's beeping like crazy, which means that it's no good. Whereas here I'm touching it. The one that's still in the board, and again, I'm touching it in the reverse way because I'm looking at the back of the MOSFET right now, and as you can see, it's not beeping, okay? So it's good. If you can't meet, reach your MOSFET from the top, you can also, you know, touch it from the bottom, right? And see if it's got conductivity or not. I know there are people that are going to think, oh, there's other ways. That's not a full full way of, of testing them. But that's the way I did it, and it worked for me. Okay, so now you got to take out the bad MOSFETs, the ones that you identified as bad. In this case, there were only two that I identified as bad, and I had to take them out. So the way you, you take it out, you can look at other YouTubes on how to take out electrical components. But you basically you heat it with, uh, with a soldering iron, and you add fresh solder to, to it. And then you use a solder sucker to suck out as much as possible. Uh, so you heat it up, you stick the solder sucker there and you suck it out. You heat it up, you stick the suckers and you suck it out. You keep doing that until you clean away all the, the solder. Um, oftentimes, well, I could hardly, I mean, in most cases, there was at least one pin that I couldn't get all the solder off. So what I do is I take a piece of fine wire like this, put a little bit of that solder goop on it. And I kind of rub that around and, and try and like get rid of most of the solder. And then, you know, by heating it and pulling it, you're able to pull it off. So that's how you get your MOSFET off. Okay, so now you got your MOSFET off and you need to order some new ones. There's a number on the back here and I just popped that into Google. And then, um, and then, you know, like, I guess it's a model number or something. So I put that in, and then it came up telling me the, the size of the MOSFET. I think it was like 50 amps and 200 uh, volts. That, that's it, yeah. It, this one was 50 amps, 200 volts. So then I went to uh, eBay, and I put in MOSFET, 50 amps, 200 volts, and then I, you know, I got... I got the, bought the MOSFET that corresponds. Well, the MOSFETs arrived today. I tested them and then I installed them right here. So I'm going to have to put this together now and see if it works. Okay, I just hooked this up to the car battery quickly with a pair of jumper, jumper cables and plugged in a little drill there and we'll see if it works here. Well, the green light came on. So let's try the drill now. Oh. Like it's working. Right on. 
Now I know this isn't a very professional video and it's not meant to be. I'm just a regular guy with his cell phone who's trying to share what he did to solve a problem. I'm sure there are better ways and there's better forms of testing and all that sort of stuff. But uh, this is what I did and it worked for me. So, you know, if you want, give it a try.